my name is Gordon Goody, and um, <laughs> well, what can I say about myself? You're talking to me because of uh, something I've done 50 years ago. In August 1963, he was part of the gang that stole £2.6 million from the Glasgow to London mail train. When someone mentions £5 million to you, I've never heard that offer before. The train robbery wasn't hard to do. The actual stopping of the train was the hardest part, and someone being able to drive it away. That was the hardest part. I said, move the fucking thing. I was getting annoyed. I was the one that got the message on the police radio when it said, you're not going to believe this. They just stole a fucking train. And Charlie put the windows in. The people inside would be frightened. Well, you'd be frightened. And I'd be frightened. And we're not talking here now about um, train soldiers. We're talking about post office sorters, you know? I opened up one bag and... Pulled out a bundle of notes and said, this is it. But I'll tell you something, you see them bags, there, 120 bags there. It was a sight to see. Nobody had ever seen that much money before. We cracked it, yeah, that is it, we cracked it. I've got a dishonest face, I know I've got a dishonest face, you know. And I think that the glass has just softened my face a little bit, you know. The thing is, with my colour in, see, I'm nearly six foot four. When I stand out in a crowd, if I've got something that I can put on my face, over my face, and it's not a balaclava, which you can't, where it was just a false moustache, grey hair sprayed on, and a bit of a beard, and very, very elementary. The police ask me what I do. I don't say I'm a bank robber. I say I'm a hairdresser. I'm no, I've never been a hairdresser. I've had hairdressing business. To blow in the safe, it, it's quite simple. It's quite simple. You could go out, I could give you, just tell you what to do. You could go out and you could pop a safe anytime. Got to get it. A simultaneous boom. And I'm fiddling around with the other one, the other one's gone, oh, and the thing's gone off. I was suffering from concussion. I see a Charlie, I said, I just nearly fucking killed myself tonight. I had a piece of work offered to me one day. Do I want to go on this bank? I said, no, I said, I'm going fishing. I didn't want to go and rob a bank that day. I'm a great believer in live and let live, you know. But having said that, I steal your money.